welcome back to Online Family Storytime. My name's Miss Katie, and I'm so happy that you came to join us again this week. Now this week is our last week for this session. We'll take a two week break, but then we'll be back again to start this all over. We're gonna learn more letters, sing more songs, and learn more rhymes. So don't worry, we're not going anywhere. We're just taking a little break, okay? Let's get this story time started. We're gonna start with our song, The More We Get Together. And remember, we're gonna use our sign language. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Amazing job, friends. And now let's do the more we read together. You remember it. I know you do. Here we go. The more we read together, together, together. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your stories are my stories and my stories are your stories. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Amazing job, friends, great job. And let's just keep the song train rolling, okay? Let's do bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Find your beat. Ready? Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. motions and getting that rhythm just right. Now let's learn something else new today. Are you ready for our new letter this week? I'm excited. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. So let's check it out. Hmm. Our first clue is a moon. M -m moon. Hmm. Oh no. Our next clue is a monster. Oh, I hope it's not a scary monster. I hope it's a nice monster. Oh, I wonder what we'll learn about this monster. Well, it was kind of tricky of the mail carrier to put a monster in our mailbox. I was a little startled. Hmm. Mail. There's mail in our mailbox. That was a good clue. So what do you think that our letter is this week? I think you know. Let's see. Here it is. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Let's see. I can't wait any longer. All right, now let's see your guesses. I hear some good ones, and I definitely heard the right answer. 
So here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna yell out the letter of the week, okay? One, two, three. M! That's right. M. M is our letter this week. For moon, monster, and male. You know what else starts with M? Let's hear some guesses. Yes, mom. Mommies start with M's. There's a lot of M in mommies. M-O-M-M-Y. That's mommy. She's the best, isn't she? You know what else starts with M? <gasps> milk. Yes, milk starts with M. And me. Me. You. Not you. But me. But when it's me and not you, <laughs> Miss Katie's being silly. Let's put our letter on the letter tree. Our letter is hung up high on the letter tree. And now let's sing our alphabet song. Ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Bravo, everyone, bravo. Now it's time to dive into our first book. This book is called The Monster at the End of This Book, starring lovable furry old Grover. Grover is one of my favorite Sesame Street characters. He's so silly. Now I'm very excited to read this. It's a super fun book to read. And let's find out who it's by. It's written by John Stone and illustrated by Michael Smolin. The monster at the end of this book. What did that say? On the first page, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did! Oh, I am so scared of monsters. Listen, I have an idea. If you do not turn any pages, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please do not turn the page. <gasps> you turned the page! Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. But this, this will stop you from turning pages. See, I am tying the pages together and you cannot. You turned another page! You don't know what you're doing to me! Now, stop turning pages! There, I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it and we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. Bonk, bam, bing, cronk, bonk, bing. And this says wood. He's nailing the pages together with wood. All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. This, this will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. Oh, I think I'm strong enough to turn the page. Do you know that you are very strong? The next page is the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared. 
Please do not turn the page. Please, please, please. <gasps> well, look at that. This is the end of the book. And the only one here is me. I, lovable furry old Grover, am the monster at the end of this book. And you were so scared. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. The end. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. He's embarrassed because he was the monster at the end of the book. Not a scary monster, just sweet, lovable Grover. I love this book. It is so much fun and so funny. Now it's time to do our Felford story. This week, we're going to do a story based on the book Tickle Monster. And it was written by Edward Mancio. Hey, Tickle Monster, you don't scare me. If I tickle your horns, you can't poke me. And if I tickle your arms, you can't catch me. And if I tickle your feet, you can't run after me. And if I tickle your teeth, you can't bite me. And if I tickle your tummy, you can't swallow me. And if I tickle your ears, you can't hear me. And if I tickle your mouth, And if I tickle your nose, you can't smell me. And if I tickle your eyes, you can't see me. And if I tickle your head, you're gone. Bye, Tickle Monster. See, we took that big scary monster and we tickled him. And now he's not scary at all. He's a nice house and a car and a camper with trees and a moon. The end. Well, friends, that's the end of this story time. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, let's sing our last bread and butter marmalade and jam. And remember, Goodbye this time. Let's start our beat. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as you can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye. 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 Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as nice as we can. Goodbye, friends. Thank you so much for joining me this session on our online family story time. Don't forget, two weeks, and then we'll have new stories, new songs, 
and new rhymes. Can't wait to see you. Until then, see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Not too soon, baboon. Bye-bye, butterfly. Hello friends, welcome to our craft time. This week we are going to make our very own monster craft. And as you can see, I have a few different examples of monsters that different kids have made. So you can get as creative as you want to. We're just gonna cut out shapes and glue them to our construction paper and see what we can come up with. I am going to make the Frankenstein monster. I think he looks spooky. But we're also gonna do a twist. We are going to add a paper chain legs to the bottom, and those are gonna be a countdown to Halloween. Halloween is October 31st, so that is 18 days from today, counting today. So we're gonna do nine paper rings for each leg. And then every day, you'll take one off and you'll be one more day closer to Halloween. And when you have none left, that means it's Halloween, hooray! Let's get started. As you can see, I started off with a green rectangle and I have black triangles I'm going to use for his hair. First, we need to glue this to my paper. I chose orange because I thought it was very Halloween-y and festive for our Halloween countdown calendar. There is our green rectangle. A little, a little crooked, but you know what? That's cool. I'm okay with that. All right, next. I'm going to glue some hair. I'm just using black triangles for hair. And again, as you know, I like it when you guys get creative so you can make your monsters however you want to. This is just the way that I am doing it. But you can do it however you like. All right, hair, check. Now eyeball time. One googly eye, two googly eyes. As you know, I love googly eyes. I like to use them as often as I can because <laughs> they're silly. Next, we're going to make the bolts coming out of his neck. So I have three pieces of paper that are cut into long rectangles. And one I'm just going to chop in half. And I'm just going to glue it. There's one. Glue, glue, glue. I love glue. I love to glue the paper too. That's some big bolts. What do you think? That's pretty nifty, I think. It's looking just how I want it to. And the second bolt, check. All right, two bolts down. Now we're gonna do the mouth. Let's glue this one. I have another long rectangle. And I'm just gonna glue them like that. Looks good. Now, as you see in this picture, there's little tiny thin rectangles glued for the stitching. So I'm going to take a fat rectangle and just cut one, two, three, four. That looks good. So then there's one. And more glue. Two, three, four, 
four. Oh, he looks pretty scary. Now it's time for the rings. Do you remember how we did the rings for our caterpillar for the letter C? We're going to do it just like that. I have rectangles all cut out. And you just take glue to one side. You fold it like that. All right. There's one. And then we'll put this through. I'm going to do alternating colors because I think that'll be fun. A little bit on there. There. Here's two. It's my third one. There you go. You see we're making a chain? All right, let's fast forward. Now this one has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to need another string, another chain with nine. So let's fast forward again. All right, here we are. We finished our paper chains with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on each. And all we have to do is attach them to our monster. So now you can either use tape or a stapler. Stapler is stronger, but if you don't have a stapler at home, you can always use tape. Here we go. Just gonna put a big piece of tape through here. There's one leg attached. Just like we're doing the ring, but we're not going to make it a ring. There. Now he has his legs. We have our countdown to Halloween. All right, thanks for watching. Have a happy Halloween, and we'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.